Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about a tool called Kali Anonymous, which I just came across on GitHub when I was looking for tools to stay anonymous on the internet for a friend. And a lot of these tools I come across when I'm looking for stuff for other people, because I don't normally look for these things. So if you guys are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, and share. And let's get into it and have some fun. All right, so let's just go out to the quick Google, right? You could go out to Google and just put a uh, Kali Anonymous into the browser and you can find this URL, right? So here we have a tool called Kali Anonymous. And what is the tool doing? It's the anonymous script for Parrot OS and Blackbox Kali or Linux, excuse me. And then it, it obviously runs on Kali Linux and that's what we're running it on today. And you can just run the script as sudo and we should install it and we can do Mac changer and anonymous. Okay, so let's just open up our, let's just type in IPA show really quick. And I do have a lot of interfaces, but the interface that we're gonna probably pay attention to is this one right here, right? So let me just do ETH zero, ETH zero just so we can focus on this interface, right? So my MAC address ends in E014. So we'll pay attention to that and we'll come back to that shortly. So if we come back, we can just see, if we come down, we can see what it is. It's just a script that includes, uh, included in both Kali, I mean, Parrot OS and uh, back box Linux, right? So it's not default installed on Kali, so you have to install it. Uh, I don't use Backbox Linux, so or really Parrot. I use Parrot when I do some Wi-Fi hacking, but I don't really use it as a daily driver. And I don't really use Kali as a daily driver anymore either. I use Exegol for most of my testing now. But for this video's sake, I'll use Kali Linux. So let's just do how to use it, right? Firstly, you have to clone the repository and then CD into it. So let's just go ahead and clone this really quick. Let's copy this. And let's come here and paste it. And we can clone it and then we'll CD into Kali Anonymous, right? So let's do an LS really quick. We can see Anonymous, Kali Anonymous, README setup. So if we just come down here, we can see how to set it up. chmod plus x setup. So let's just copy this really quick. Let's make this a little larger. And then let's paste this here. And then let's just do sudo slash setup which I am already sudo, but it's okay. And we'll let this do its thing. Once it's done, we'll see what else we can do. And this will run run a script that installs Tor and the necessary other uh, necessary files for anonymous to work. Okay, so how we're gonna run it is sudo anonymous for basic information. If we wanna start it up, we can go ahead and do sudo anonymous start to start anonymous. And let's go ahead and see what's up here. Is Tor in browser installed on your computer? I wanna put N because I don't think Tor is installed on here. So it's gonna install Tor browser for me. Okay, let's go ahead and put tab. Okay, that's fine. And is Mac Changer on your computer? I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and hit N for not sure. And tab and okay here. And all right, so now it's done. Now, what you can do is just type in sudo anonymous start. Okay, let's just copy that and paste it here. And it's going to do its thing. And now we wanna see, it's asking, do you want to change the MAC address? Yes, I'm, I want to. Okay, for these are my interfaces. Remember, we wanted to focus on ETH zero in my case. So I wanna do ETH zero. And do you wanna change the local host? No, I don't wanna change the host. That's fine. Do you want transparency traffic through Tor? Yes, I do. Okay, so now it's going to do its thing. Now it looks like it's good to go. Okay, so now we can come back to the site and we can look at the status, right? Let's see pseudo anonymous, whoops, I don't wanna copy all of it. Let's just go ahead and check out the status of it. So let's go ahead and just do pseudo anonymous status, copy that. And let's come here and let's just paste that there. 
and we can see what's up, what's the status, okay? This is showing my IP address, and obviously this is not where I am, so you can see Tor is on. So if we just go out to the interwebs, and we just go ahead and just type in, yeah, if config, that's fine for me, and we can see it's saying that my IP address is 89.58.26.216. And obviously this is not where I'm at, but we can do what is my IP address and see what it comes up with here. What is my IP.com? That's fine. We can see what it's going to do and see where we're at. And it's going to give us that same IP and we look like we're in Germany. Obviously, I'm not in Germany. So this is how you can anonymize yourself to browse on the internet. So now you can, for an example, go out to gmail.com. And once you send stuff through, it's gonna come from that IP address. So you're anonymizing yourself, okay? So let's just go back to here. Yeah, consent, that's fine. And you can see that's all good in the hood. So if you wanna go back to normal, Oh, actually, let's do the Mac address again. So this is my new Mac, and obviously the Mac has changed. So if I'm doing anything on that local subnet, if they're looking at Mac addresses on the ARP table, it's gonna show a different ARP request than the actual uh, local NIC, okay? So, you know, it's just to stay a little bit more under the radar, okay? So if I just go ahead and stop this, Let's go ahead and stop. And do you want to change it? No, I don't want to change that. And do you want to delete? Yes, I want to go ahead and delete everything. Okay, so now let's go ahead and do this again. And we probably have to turn off the service and turn it back on. So let's do, let's do this. If config ETH zero down and let's bring it back up. And let's see if we get a different MAC address in a second. So we'll bring that back up and we'll just do IPA show. Let's see if it's, nope, it's still this one. So I'll probably have to reboot or something like that. But anyhow, like it did change our MAC address. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. So if you want to check this tool out, it's really cool. If you want to stay anonymous on the internet with just pretty much one click, it's very, very simple to follow. And if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for viewing.